Walnut or oak? Neither? Which one would you prefer? That's walnut. If we can't fuel her up and get her to fire over. Yep, that'll do it. This message is 100% Black Lab approved. Welcome back. And you may be asking, what in the world are you going to make with all that stuff? We got a three inch dowel rod that's shaped somewhat like an elephant tusk. She's got a little curve to her. I got an idea. This is what I want to make. Can't say I've ever taken a shot at this one before. I drew this up. I think it's time we make something out of this world, a little rocket ship action. So, we're gonna see what we can do. Yes, I think so. We'll use this piece of oak for the body of the plane that'll sit on top of the walnut. But we'll get there. All right, we got the bottom layer whittled down to something a little thinner, half inch. I got my stencil on there, so now I just gotta cut that baby out.
All right, that's our base shape. Well, after some slicing on the bandsaw, cut this way, and then I turned it over and cut these. We're gonna clean it all up on the sander. But we're starting to get a shuttle here. Once you get a wing on it back here, we'll have some lift off. I already got a really cool idea for some engines. What would normally be headlights. You turn them around, we'll have three engines. to get more of that rounded off effect. All right, now that we have our base unit here, we're gonna go ahead and get it attached to the rest of the body and the wings. And we do want some to hang off the back because you gotta remember, can't have your stuff catching on fire when the engines are hot. Okay. Yep, that looks like something a space engineer would have built, 100%. Well, we better be thinking about some solid rocket boosters, and we'll worry about the big fuselage. They're 8 inches, and it looks like the tip is going to come down about an inch and 3 sixteenths. So we're going to have to do some dancing on the sander. best way to do this is set this baby to an inch at three sixteenths. It's going to be like sharpening a massive pencil.
got this baby all rounded off. I did do a little routing around the bottom, but we best be fixing to make a tail wing for this guy. Yes, tail wing. Whoa, shop cat. Shop cat, what are you doing, butters? It as far back as possible. Well, we got the three main thrusters mounted. The engine's on the actual shuttle itself, so we're gonna go ahead and give them a quick test fire. I'm probably gonna turn out the lights. Let's just see if we can't get her to fire up. shop unless you really want to then you can but don't play with fire there's cats in here sawdust hello you have something in your whiskers little sawdust well eventually I will put the two little re-entry re burners right here but for now we're gonna do some hand sanding
see if we can't get this a little pointier a little bit All right, so to connect these boosters to the tank, what I'm thinking is two dowels that go into these holes, like so, which this one I got off a little bit, so I just gotta move it. And then I'll do the same thing with the shuttle, like one, two, and then I'll make those attached to the fuel tank so when the shuttle comes off, it doesn't have any dowels on the bottom of it. We'll see. up much better. So on the bottom of the boosters, I'm thinking just a bigger size dowel rod, we'll just route the top of it and then attach it. I'm just going to put a couple of pins in the bottom, just like what we did up at the top. But I'm not going to install them on here, like I said.
it just a little bit on the bottom one. Well, I think we got it. I did hit these on the flat sander to get them all evened up. Let's put some spray on it. Give you guys one last good look here before we put some varnish on it. Just like it's supposed to, you you get the lift off, goes up, tilts back, boosters come off, get one off with my hand, and this travels with its fuel tank for a while, and then it thing, that baby burns up in the ozone and you got your shuttle. Let's throw some varnish on it. Maybe one day I'll get the nerve to try a Saturn V. For those of you that don't know, that would be the one that took Neil Armstrong to the moon with the boys. But I've had enough dancing on the sander with these dowel rods for a little while. So it's going to take some bravery to get that one going.